Let's talk about how YouTube sucks so that I can get further censored just for saying that. Testing. Now my computer's running all jacked up as soon as I said YouTube sucks. It's like, yeah. Just another day, man. Watching my back. These crazy ass people, man. Just another day. I mean, for the most part, I, I live a really normal life. No, never mind. That's not true. But it's not because of the Kenny stuff completely. It's because I chose a freaking career path like law enforcement, and that's just a wild card. You deal with so many people that are like, I'm gonna kill you. You're like, okay, well, I guess I'll wait for you to show up one day. <laughs> I never had problems with too many people. Most of them were just psycho and like bipolar is what I summed it up to. Cause it's like, dude, I didn't, I didn't do nothing to you. You need to chill out, big baby. Okay, sweet. But Trevor's the only one, so the other three must be agents who are watching me. <laughs> or maybe the other three hi main hikers on the case who are agents and deflecting everyone from the freaking reptilian raptoid keyhole site. Let's talk about this. That thing is about to show me off because I said YouTube sucks. One day they will fall. Mark those words. Because you can't be the way they are and not have karma come back. And I'll be the new Google. <laughs> but like an uncensored, real legit one. One day, man. We're just in hibernation mode right now. Hey, let's talk about some stuff, though. I'm a lurker. Well, welcome to the chat, Miss Lurker. I mean, let's get this out of the way. How does Jake Paul become a freaking pro boxer after fighting YouTubers? Let's talk about that. I straight up fight Jake Paul and whoop his ass in an octagon. I'm a YouTuber. Come on, man. Make that happen. I'm old enough to be his dad. That's a joke. Come on, man. For real. He's got like 21 million followers, but like half of them are little kids waiting for a Disney drop. What kind of Mickey Mouse Club operation are you running over there? He's fooling the world. Oh, Joseph's in the house. What's up, man? <laughs> Dude, this guy's famous. Dude, you are. Joseph's a man. Talk about yourself, Joseph. Just do it. You're a pioneer for higher consciousness, bro. Much love. I've been watching your stuff a couple years. Appreciate that, Trevor. Thanks, man. For all the Kenny Beach story followers. Yeah. We're all weird freaking night crawlers, so yeah, there should be a ton on right now. YouTube says there's like one person here though. See, we got the Kenny stuff, but like my boy Trevor here said, I like to get into the higher consciousness stuff as well. And it's it's like really what's going on, you know, because I feel like this truly is just a very low stage of the entire evolution of like w what we eventually will evolve into, which a lot of us can't even understand. I'm... I can admit that I don't I definitely don't have all the answers or feel like I understand and can grasp like what the true reality of stuff is and that's kind of like part of moving into the next world is like you have to know that you don't know now you're ready but yeah let's talk about this man okay me and some people lately have been talking about uh, potential fakes on the story who every time they go out there to hike they never go by, Morix is here, what is up? They never go by the freaking Raptoid eyeball location. They don't, they don't look at any of that. They don't look at the freaking covered up old M cave, clearly. And they just, and they go all over the place, everywhere <laughs> except like that site. And it's like, dude, what are you, are you guys deflecting the consciousness, we'll call it, of the Kenny story to like other areas? And why? Like, you, you would have to have seen my content. If you're on this story and you're serious, you've done a little research to the point where you're going out and you're doing a hike. You, you, I mean, you could, t you could technically say risking your life because a person's missing and you are out of range of cell phone service like eight miles or something. You're out of it before you even get to the park spot if you park at Joe May Road. I've seen the Aqua Chiggers videos i even commented like hey dude careful he's out there like <laughs> you know kind of like and this guy's got millions of followers it's like where did you come from you just picked up this story and now you're doing these videos but you just 
You guys just walk right past the effing site. What did you just watch Kenny's last video and that's it? And then you're just like, oh yeah, I'm just going to go out here. It's like, dude, you need to be careful. You know, it's not 2015 where that's when I did it. You know, like there's so much information out there about the story as well as my footage of a freaking eyeball looking through a solid rock wall hole cave thing sealed off thing like ch easy and like you know getting sick of course myself and then having things like follow me out but it's like i get it not everyone's gonna have seen my video i understand and especially if i'm getting censored or shadow banned it's like yeah maybe my content isn't visible and these people really didn't see it i i don't know i mean because even the people that the other people like warlike wrath and these other people they all talk about me on and what m the work i've done so it's like maybe they just have so many followers they don't want to do that much research they're just taking the original video of kenny and then going out looking for freaking death because that's what it is man that's death canyon back there they're going to hit you with some freaking sonar whatever or a reptoid being's going to come up cloaked and just s suck the life out of you until you drop. <laughs> That's what happened, dude. If I hadn't have sat there and meditated and like regrouped, I'd have been sleeping in that canyon cuz I felt that bad and my body was just falling apart. Like that was definitely the closest I've been to like feeling Oh man, like I'm way in over my head and this is going to get dangerous if I don't get out of here before nighttime. And sure enough, you know, I have things walking on the sides of me on the way out of there. But I felt good about being at that point where it's just all downhill and I knew the the path decently and it's it's pretty like wide too. You know, it's not like in Picture Canyon where it's just tight and there's just bushes, tall little trees you're walking by. That's sketchy. Morgs, by the way, she's freaking dope. And sent me a link to, I think when they had me on the news, when CNN freaking exploited me, called me crazy about the Q stuff. <laughs> yeah, man. And what's funny is you got all that Balenciaga, whatever freaking fashion brand, that a bunch of that's starting to hype up. And then you got the fake news being like, oh, it's a, you're not a conspiracy that they're freaking do 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 do. You know, and it's like, no, man. I told you, that was real information that they were dropping. It wasn't all just hype. It was, they were, they were leaking big information that you see now fruition and you got a lot of celebrities that are like protesting against that brand and a lot of people getting called out for working with them it's pretty interesting Jorn Holtz in the house freaking Denmark that's what needs to happen we just need to mob up in there like 30 deep I'll tell you right now I know a spot up there that I haven't talked about on camera that looks real funky and I and I've seen some like type of metal objects and it, what looks to be like some kind of outpost and it's towards the top of the the front peak of picture canyon as soon as someone comes into that canyon looking at that spot like turn it on they just freaking light your ass up dude watch right past yeah yeah let's talk about this let's get back to the freaking fakes on the case okay if you're one of the hikers that's trying to look for Kenny and doing videos and you're a fake, please come forward right now. I'm asking for your resignation and honesty because we see you. And you have to assume 30 to 50% of the videos and information being put out on this story is disinformation, which would bring it into a likelihood of at least like, I don't know, 25%. 10 15 percent of all the information you see is straight up disinformation and fake crap being put there intentionally by folks who are either paid to do it or who actually know about the true disappearance of kenny beach like that's just my take so let's say 
there's eight of us. Okay, I don't know how many like real investigators who have actually put boots on the ground out there. There are, I would assume, there's around eight. I can think of like four off the top of my head, and there's probably other ones I don't know. Out of the eight, you have to assume that like three of those are fakes or just people that don't know what they're doing. We'll just put those in one category that are just effing up the investigation. And so that's how I see it. What do you guys think? I don't know. Am I off with that? It just seems like you have all these people that keep walking by the places of interest and that's annoying. Because it's like, what? you, Dude, you went right past it. My MCAVE found video should be popping up in all the search results or whatever. And it's got maybe around 800,000 views to it. So it's like, no, dude. No. You, you would have had to see that. You would have searched it like, oh, man, the story is freaking seven years old. Like, he's been gone for forever like has anyone found the cave like it, it would just come up man 735,000 I'm inflating myself did you ever say hi to Medina for me in Denmark seems like somebody got the to the wrath guy <laughs> he talked about the keyhole and then made a new video saying he was wrong in his last video dude no joke I heard something about his narrative like going the other way and like I said before Rath used to hit me up in the beginning, and let's give him some credit. He was the one that initially saw the eyeball thing and wrote in the comments and then emailed me. There was someone else that saw it too. And what's crazy is I was I was responding to all these comments, and I always go in chronological order. So I won't usually respond to someone else's newer comment without hitting the ones before. And I went back to the spot I stopped at after I, I received his email. And then went back and I was like, man, I haven't touched these comments in like six months. And the very next comment was, looks like something's looking at you through the hole. And it was from somebody else. It wasn't Wrath. And so then like four months later, Wrath had, maybe it was longer. I can't remember. But there was like a time where it's like, if I just would have gone one more comment, I would have seen that. And then went back to the video and saw what they were talking about. But timelines, that's just, it's just, it's creepy how that happened because it's like, the freaking ceiling just popped above me when I said that. There's things going on. These people are, are watching. I can't even call them people. There's other beings. Oh, we'll talk more about that in a second. Let's get back to Wrath. So he emails me, look into it, yada, yada. And he's all excited. He thinks he's going to get a billion views on YouTube <laughs> or something. And he's all happy about like, oh, yeah, let's do this. You know, like, Short together is freaking, you know. And then I'm like, yeah, okay, great, man. Sure, you can use my videos for your channel to help you build it. Sure. He had like 35 subscribers, okay. All of a sudden, he's got, he's getting into thousands, Mark, because he's using my content. And I was, I said, I was okay with that. I like that there's more publicity getting to the story. Perfectly cool. And then he started getting the weird threat stuff that, shit. I've been getting for fucking five years. And he's like, dude, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, welcome to the club, man. Now, if you engage with that stuff, it's going to make it worse. I kind of like dabbled a little bit of that. But then I was like, I'm not going to play that game of like some random no name throwing threats at me on the Internet. So you want to show up. OK, then we can handle it or do whatever but until then i'm not doing this because that just sucks energy out of you and so i would just delete all these comments the emails i would kind of get i'm like no i'm not I'm not even messing with that and it wasn't always like i'm gonna kill you sean it was like indirect stuff it was it was for the most part all indirects there were comments that were very direct but just like on kenny's last video where the killmeister or whatever dude it's like, don't go back to the cave or you'll die, Kenny. And then Kenny's like, why do you say that? Or something. And there's no response. And that was like the most epic comment on the whole video. And I think it's actually been removed now, that comment from the whole video. Anyways, so Wrath is all freaking out. And he's getting these binary coded threats 
which I got that too in binary and like other weird languages and all types of stuff. And it's coming from like users that have a freaking slit eyeball <laughs> as the profile. <laughs> and this is basically saying like, dude, you need to stop posting this stuff about us or we will get your ass type shit. Which can be a little, sure, that's a little intimidating because if you follow this information about just, you know, the reptilian business, you know, you, you start seeing that there are, the freaking ceiling popped again over here. I swear to Christ, Jesus Christ, protect my space in all positive love and light. I hear phantom steps a lot and I know these fools are lurking in the shadows like literally watching me and they have been f for years and it's fine the spiritual warfare is fine back to back to the reptilian uh, there's a lot of accounts that they live among us and they're fourth density creatures meaning they're fourth density negative there's a f four positive like what Jesus did and others so at that frequency and density you can make yourself invisible. You can cloak yourself. You can walk through walls. You can manifest certain things. You can, you can fly. You can do all types of stuff, and you can shape shift. You know, like so. There's, it's not out of the picture and idea that they are living among us, and you could know a few of them, and they're just not going to reveal who they really are. But that's a part of their little game and authorization to even be in your consciousness or existence like you can't know who they are which is back to like when i was walking out of there and there was things following me they probably thought i was filming because i had my camera on a stick and i was pointing it over there with the light and it's like they can't be seen that's a huge like you just can't they, I'm, I'm sure that's a thing I would, I would imagine because there's just no footage of it on the whole planet on the whole internet there's no footage of anything I pretty much have the closest thing to footage of a freaking reptilian on my channel. The comment is pinned where I said, go to this spot. So you just got to look in the comments on those two videos and you'll find it. Anyways, that's trippy. What? Like, I have a, I have video of, of some evidence of it. So it's not like it's a, oh, it's a freaking myth or it's a, no, dude, this stuff's real. Anyways, back to Wrath, and then we'll talk about something else, somebody else. He started hitting me up, and he's like, dude, I don't know what to do. They're freaking threatening me. I'm like, stop playing their game, man. And he was like, messaging them back and all types of shit. And Wrath lives in freaking Europe somewhere, in England or wherever the freak he lives. I'm like, dude, chill out. I'm like right down the street from these caves. You're a billion miles away. Like, chill. And then... He kept hitting me up for stuff, and then he pushed it too far, and I'm like, dude, F off, man. You're, you're bugging me, and I've told you to stop emailing me. It's like, you're all noise, and I'm, I'm positivity winning the day, and you're just cramping it. And so I told him off, and then he posted the email that I told him off on. I'm like, dude, you're a bitch. That's the weakest shit I've seen ever. Like you don't do that. You don't you don't put my email our personal exchange live on your channel in front of thousands of your like that's weak, dude. You 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 brought me to a point where you pissed me off so much I had to tell you what I really felt. And then you made what a joke, man. And now you see. Karma. Fool. Actually, warlike wrath. It was me sending you those threats. Now what? Yeah, right. I wouldn't do that. But it's like, yeah, dude, now you're going back on your story and saying some other stuff like, oh, you no, know, uh, there wasn't, no, there wasn't no keyhole to, I, no, everything's fine. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Like, <laughs> they got to him, man. I mean, they could have, the stuff I've received, they could have easily put me down that sort of narrative too and had me change things and take videos down if I just listen to it, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. Come on, man, you got to be stronger than that. You really have to hold the light. And if you don't have that, then you shouldn't, you know, it goes to show you 
people that put boots on the ground like me, I didn't do that to undo that. It's like he's just a piggyback off my information. And it's like, dude, you were in over your head just taking my videos and this content and information and trying to post it. You, you're in over your head because this stuff is heavy. It's not for everybody. And there's a there's a guy missing. Like, could it have been just a suicide or, or like the guy freaking just faked his death? Sure, it could. And it could not. The fact that I've experienced what I have out there, not just in 2016 where something was stalking our campsite, and I was before I like really, really knew and researched, I, sh I shouldn't say knew, but just had these other things in mind like Sasquatch and these other creatures and shit. That was before that. I was like, what the freak is over here? It literally woke me up at like 3.30 or something in the night sometime. And it was like right behind me. And so I had to draw my gun and was like, dude, what the... It's like breaking sticks and stuff behind me. And then as I zeroed in, it's it's like a bigger snap stick and then like a stomp on the ground, like on the opposite side. And I was like, it's surrounding me. Like, what kind of shit is this? And my buddy was inside the tent asleep. I was sleeping by the fire. And I was like, I just sat there. I was so scared. I was like, dude, this is crazy. I was like, I better get the camera out. I was like, no, I can't. I can't. I got my light and my pistol. And I'm like, no, this sucker is going to clap here in a sec. If I hear anything, I'm just going to start shooting. Because, like, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. And we don't see, we didn't see wildlife. We didn't see anything, really. I mean, a couple rabbits and, like, birds and stuff. But it's like, there's something out there. But once again, you just stay positive. And then I still went back out there. And stay the night again in 2019, early. But I did take a big break. And then shortly after that Jenkins hike in 19, I went again in July of 19. And that was the solo hike where I got things following me out. I got all types of stuff going on. I'm a little more up on the real life dangers out there. And I can just be like, okay, I'm ready. Get the crystals. <laughs> Man, I see so many comments about that. How can I take you seriously? You got fucking crystals with you. Yeah, bitch. But I walked out of there as well. And if you don't know about crystal energy and just... Really, it's just science. There's all types of freaking bombs and all types of like high-tech science that uses crystals. And that type of energy that they interface with. So like, it's real. You just have to be... You have to be a higher being to know how to charge certain crystals but they all serve a purpose that can help you especially when we get into elementals like i was talking about with joseph that's a whole other thing because as he pointed out there are that spot where the eyeball is you have Another spot below that, it looks like it's part of the face of the mountain that, that looks like it's looking at me too. It's like another eyeball. And then the eyeball is like flush on the face. But that that hole is like this deep. When I looked into it, it was like kind of rocky and then it, and then it opens up. So like there's, there's like this much of space before it looked like it was the other side, which makes sense. It's not going to be a thin piece of... You know, it's not going to be, it's going to be thick if it was sealed off. But that eyeball looks flush with it. So it's, you see a lot of stories with Native American story, um, tales and whatnot of like areas and mountains being alive themselves. So it could be something we're dealing with is the actual elements that are alive. <laughs> this thing's popping up here above me. See? It's all, t like, if you pay attention to the little clicks in life, like in Interstellar, you know, where he's, like, sending himself a message from the future, you'll you'll start to coordinate and pin down important things when you need to be paying attention to them, if that makes sense. You know what I mean. When there's little clicks and things or just, like, someone's car alarm that's going off, you need to th backtrack and be like, what was I just thinking about? What was I just saying? Because there is significance to it. There is things line up in timelines and synchronicities happen for reasons. 
and it could be like yourself from a future reality timeline sending yourself a message like that's the movie interstellar top five movies of all time like that's real information that's that they're putting out for sure okay hold up back to wrath so this guy freaking lost his mind and went cookie and he's gone he's just gone right he's freaking whatever that happens to a lot of people on this story we'll get to the agents that we were talking about here soon but you had like the really robin dude for those who have been on the story a minute that got all weird he was trying to like meet me at the freaking el pollo loco down off <laughs> it was like bonanza i don't know where i can't remember charleston in 95 he's like i have the secret to the mystery of kenny veach i solved the case I want to meet you in person. I'm like, dude, you look all whacked out in your videos first off. And they're like all over the place. You're just weird. I'm not meeting your ass. I was, and I told him in email, no, you didn't solve it. If you did, tell me what's up right now. He's like, okay, I'm sorry, man. I didn't solve it, but... And then he, we had a conversation. And he was basically summing it up to, these are this is the devil. This whole thing that's going on out there they're demons and they're the devil and you need to pray to jesus christ or you're gonna die <laughs> basically that's what it was and i was like get the fuck out of here man don't you ever talk to me like that you know who i am <laughs> For real, man, who, who talks to people like that like don't tell me you've don't try to like trick me into going to meet you by saying you solved the case all to just tell me that you didn't solve like Fuck out of here, man. So he lost it. He, he was like the second person to uh, after me to really like go put boots on the ground. <sighs> now who else, man? Who's the crazy Asian guy? Who the freak went out there at night and was like with a little sound machine? Step up, raise your hand. Come forth. 30 deep. Yeah, that'd be dope, huh, Trev? The hills do have eyes. I almost want to make a challenge out of that hike. You go there and you go touch the M cave, spend the night if you're a freaking real gangster, and then you come back without getting abducted or something. It's not possible. <laughs> or like being sick. After my 2019, where I, where I got sick on camera, I was not right for like two or three weeks. I was jacked up. And I talked about that in a video, but I ended up taking that video down because I think I was being highly censored because of the other stuff I was saying in it video pops up as this yeah yeah exactly my mk video should be there if you're on the if you're on this case doing hikes and you're not stopping at the location you're a fake dude you're a fake yeah that was before the men in black got you on you're talking about wrath timestamp for the eyeball if you want to download it and slow it down even further you can i'm in the process of making a posting a new video off the original video where i slow it all the way down i stop it and you can see an effing eyeball. It's like, that's an eyeball. Looking at it. People are like, oh, it could be the, a spider web in the hole that lined up. It's like, no. There's nothing there. And then all of a sudden, the next frame is, bloop, there's an eyeball there. It's like, no. Nice try, agent. It was the most epic hike to... Thanks, Morgs. Appreciate it. Hope everyone enjoyed my singing. I'll, everyone talks crap about it, but it's like, I don't care. I'm out there. I'm having a good time and just be positive so I can win this day. And that's what I did. But you get people that just skip through it and they're like, oh my God, he's singing. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> he's got crystals. He's singing. And now he's throwing up. What am I watching? I don't care, man. You can't do what I can do. So shut your mouth. Sit down. Okay. I'm not I'm not defensive about my singing. No. Have you sang for over half a million people? I didn't think so. I have. Send the link to that video in the chat. Uh and hold on. I'm I'm getting down there. I need to probably like okay it. I just like to hit every comment here. Do 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 do. Have me on the edge of my seat. You're hilarious. Bjorn Bjorn Holt. Is it Bjorn Holt or Bjorn Holt? Is it is the B or J silent? You hear the thumps in your background. Did you hear it? You did? It ain't, it's real, dude. When I first moved out into the sticks, I would go out at night because I just love sitting there and 
looking at the stars and it's quiet out here so quiet until the effing train comes by but when i first moved out here i'm i lived down the road a bit and there's no train there and it's so dark so quiet but all the stars are in the sky because you don't have the lights of vegas and these other places you know canceling it out and i would hear footsteps walking up around me always behind me these freaking cowards dude just crunching the rocks just i'm like someone's walking behind me and it's like on the property i'm living at i'm the only one there in like a four bedroom house and it's like i look over and it stops and i'm like really like that's where we're at type shit and i went to another property and i was hearing these little bells coming up closer and closer with steps with them but a little jingling like this little tiny bell it's weird but it was also the steps and it got so close i was sitting on a deck and it was just coming i said that's close enough because like i'm okay with it as long as you keep your distance because it's probably just all types of beings here that we're not completely aware of but that we're always can around and you just have to be okay with it because we're not the highest mammal ladies and gentlemen sorry to break it to you if that's what you thought there's a lot of stuff moving around this place that ain't human or if it is it's just at a higher density and so yeah it got close like eight feet and i said that's close enough and then it stopped right there but it's like <laughs> these guys are pushing it man and it's like is that i've heard a lot of stories of the sasquatch where you will have a sighting or something and then it will follow you it now has your signature and kind of like a one mind universal mind to all the other ones and they know where you're at they just know they can f pick up your energy signature and they'll f they know where you live and it doesn't matter like i like i said i'm like three hours away from the m cave location right now i used to be like an hour away but they apparently can just find you there was a guy in it was the upper states i can't, i can't remember but it there was he's like a cop and he was setting up trail cams for something and he caught some stuff on his camp and then or when he was checking one of the cams he looked over and there was a freaking sasquatch standing there staring at him and then he did some extra stuff like he trying to look he tried to look further into it and then they showed up at his house like shortly after that and that's when he was like oh i'm not yeah he's like i took all my cams down or whatever he did he just backed off he's like these dudes followed me home and it was like miles and miles away from where he it wasn't just down the street if you guys could just walk my world for some of the key moments i've had you lose your shit man you really got to be a master of your own mind and keep your fears and things in check and just understand that there's gonna be things negative stuff that pops up because it has its free will as well but it also has to give you your free will and as long as you're living in the light and the true love frequency that's it just stay there and you're fine do not engage unless you need to engage.